to reality today. I feel a song coming on. Peeing down, quite literally. Um, so we have abandoned the ride. Well, not really abandoned. We've still done a couple of efforts, me and Charlie, uh, around the Pembrey uh, track. And uh, we've come to Daisy's little coffee shop for some shelter, but also something to warm the old cockles. Charlie's on a winter bike, trusty steed, which he's had for years and years. I'm on my lovely white frame, which I'm gonna have to clean again for the second time, 24 hours. <sighs> Such is life. Such is life. Who's gonna have first dip then? I mean, it's a spoon. <laughs> Small spoon. Okay. Small portion. He's empty, I think he is, yeah. This is like icing, I think. Carrot icing. That is usually like cream cheese icing. Mm. Yeah. Love homemade carrot cake is so good. Well, it's homemade, it's not. Yeah. Mm. That's like really nice, that. It's quite solid. It's usually like a. I don't think I should eat too much of it. Cream cheese with ice and sugar mixed through it. Like mascarpone or Philadelphia. So I got back from the ride, it peed down the last like 10 minutes. I got like as wet in 10 minutes as I would have been if I'd done like a five hour ride in the middle of winter. It was like crazy, extreme weather. But we've come home and uh, just in time for food because we've got our own little chef here making some food for us this evening. Let's go and see what the chef's making for us right now. Hey chef, what are you making for us today? Well today what I've made you is a half side of salmon, so there's your protein and your fat. And we have a big portion here, this is going to be between the three of us. Um, red and green peppers with, I think it's like six white potatoes, medium size that I've just sliced up. Salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil and yeah, we're going to have a feast tonight. Hey thanks dude, cheers for doing that. I'm sure it'll be delicious. So, we have our own little private chef here, cycling chef. He's uh, knocking up some tasty food tonight. I am gonna go out on the table right now. I'm gonna do a Zwift race, and maybe a bit extra. All right, excuse the half naked clip, but um, I'm just about to jump on the table. So I don't want to interrupt this whole thing. I don't want to interrupt my turbo session to see what I have to say next, which is basically what is next? Like what what am I going to do um, with the next like month, two months? I think some of you probably know what I'm going to be doing, but we're still keeping it under wrap. Things aren't finalized just yet. Like we don't know for sure what I'm going to be doing. Um, but one thing is for certain, is that I'll be doing the National Hill Climb Championship and in order to be competitive there I will have to take a very small break very soon in order to build back up again because I had a few messages uh, I really appreciate the messages that I've had you know, after the Isle of Man um, and on the last video all the comments I really appreciate them uh, so thank you as well but i've had some comments asking me you know are you doing the tour britain because i know your team's doing the tour britain like are you going to um are you going to be able to hold your fitness hold your fall until then and the tour britain is something like a month away so if i was to ride the tour britain um a month is a long time to hold the shape that I'm in. So 
this is going to sound different to like what maybe what you're expecting to hear, but maintaining the fitness I'm in is very easy to do. It's maintaining the shape that I'm in is very difficult to do. So the reason why I'm going so well is because of lots of things, but the nutrition pay, play is probably the biggest part in it because I get to such a low weight. I get to, a, to an optimum place in my performance because of the way I eat and because of what I eat and because of you know how everything becomes a lot more efficient. So that plays the biggest part. So in order to you know step back and then move forward for the next set of goals, I need to just come back a little bit. So the next week, and this including this week, but including half of next week as well, I'm gonna be you know just enjoying what I eat, enjoying a, my normal uh, eating pattern. Uh, as opposed to you know constantly watching what I'm eating and and making sure I'm getting enough protein and, and carbohydrate and fat and stuff. So that's what this next goal is going to be. A small goal. I'm going to aim to relax uh, this week. I've got uh, a hill climb this weekend that I'm not actually aiming for, um, but it's more of like a fun event that's taking place on the newly crowned world's steepest road uh, in Harlech which is like North West Wales sort of. So I'm gonna be driving up there Sunday and doing that, taking part in it. It's gonna be a right laugh, to be honest, more than anything. Uh, there's forecast rain, so it's gonna be extremely slippery. Um, but then going from there, me and Charlie are going away for a couple of days. Uh, in the UK, we're not going anywhere like, you know, Ibiza or anything like that. Like we're not going to the sun. Um, we're just getting away for a couple of days um, in the UK and coming back like Thursday next week so Monday to Thursday and then I'm racing that weekend I think at Rydale so I'm gonna just get myself back into it then and then uh, and then we take it from there then it'll be the start of the next series that kind of falls on from last year's series leading up to the hill climb season uh, and and other things as well so yeah that's it that's 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 what happens next <laughs>